Great opportunity, Jack. I don't want to die not knowing. Oh, I've never understood that. So you're about to get hit by a bus and you think to yourself, oh, well, at least I now know how I'm gonna die. How is that helpful? I'm taking a chance. I get I get an office support staff, some terrific apartment in the heart of Manila. I won't be tied to one paper, one editor. Selena, she's guaranteed she'll use all my stuff. Yeah, but why Asia? Why Manila? Asia's the New Middle East. I oh, like we need another one of those. I want to know why a guy from Ivanhoe who went to the same uni as me is now trying to set up a Sharia state in the Philippines. You ever been to Ivanhoe? <laughs> this is not about us not having kids, is it? No, no, it's not. It's fine. I'm over that. The bigger question is, why you won't come with me? I don't have a passport. What are you, American? Admit it. You're just too gutless to break from your petty world of old men and footy. I don't knock your career. You don't have a career, Jack. You've hardly got a life. But just be a sec. Me leaving's convenient for you, isn't it? No big breakup, no need to make a commitment. <sighs> don't put this on to me. You're the one doing the leaving. Yeah, but just once you could have tried to stop me. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. No, the taxi is waiting. I'm, or I'm oh. already late. I'll be quick. You know me. Come on, up against the wind again. Oh, that's an attractive offer. Uh, just five minutes, mate. Well, I guess we're not stopping at all stations then. Oh, we don't need to, do we? Mm. Careful, you might get that child you never wanted.
my bags? I'm late. You have to marry them or they go. She has a career. They only want careers if you don't commit. I met my Ava one day, proposed the next sex every night. Then the Berlin Wall goes up. Her one side, me the other. No more sex. The wall came down in 89, Charlie. Didn't want sex by then. Some men are never ready. Not for marriage, not for kids. Gives it that special luster knowing these have been close to your balls, eh? Hello, Sue. Hi. Janine, sit, please. Everyone makes such a fuss over coffee, the froth, the type of machine, the country of origin, and yet they often give we poor tea drinkers a tea bag. I hate paying for things if I know exactly how much they cost to make. A tea bag is, what, 10 cents, 5 cents milk and hot water tops, 15 cents a cup. The real thing here. You seem tense, Janine. No, 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 I'm, I'm fine. How are we going at the prison? I reckon there's a few potentials. Um, refresh my memory. It strangled his girlfriend or something. Yeah, manslaughter, five years. That's right. Have a look. He comes up for parole next week and his passport's current. Yes, that seems like a very good choice, Janine. Tell me, have you heard from our Tina at all? She's still overseas, isn't she? No, she's back from the Philippines, apparently. Left the mission without a word. I thought you would have heard. We're not really in touch. I thought you two were close. It's funny. I'm sure you would have been the first person Tina called. <laughs> One for the road. You would tell us if she had, wouldn't you? Of course. Tina, call me wherever you are. Sue's asking questions. Tina, is everything okay?
You know, this sort of spectacle's not doing either of our profiles any good, mate. I don't have Harry's money. I'll pay him as soon as I can, I promise. It's a food chain, Bruce. You're a single cell organism, I'm barely plankton, and Harry Strang's learned to walk on land. All right, if you don't pay him, he doesn't pay me. And I got bills to pay, mate. Can I pay you another way? I don't want a bloody horse, mate. It's a goodie. You need to sell it. A bloke called Chink has the papers. You show it to Harry, show it to Cam, they'll tell you. Chink, right. Sid's funeral was a funeral. Best last year for mine. Not just sandwiches, actual cooked food. Look, you can't have a funeral at midday and not feed people. Bloody Roy. Tighter than a Murray Cod's ass. Who died? Roy Dexter. Well, you know, Roy, he was on the statue committee. You're not still talking about doing that statue from the old man, are you? He's been dead for 40 years. Well, now seems a good time. Yeah, while he's still fresh in everyone's memory. Uh, the cold one, Stan? Yes, mate. Uh, well, I'm sorry to hear about Roy. You'd be sorrier if you'd gone to his wake. Look, if the wife goes before the husband, don't go to the wake, because they never cater properly. But he's the one in mourning. Woman troubles. Ah. Uh -huh. You know that beautiful Chinese woman I was dating after Stella shot through with me cousin? No. You do. Mei Wong. Mei Wong? Yeah, I showed you photos of her. Met her on the internet. Mm -hmm. Been going out for months and it was getting serious. She wanted to meet. You hadn't met? Oh, we'd exchange photos. She liked what she saw. I was ready to commit. What did she see exactly? How old was the photo? But we didn't want to rush it. You know, we needed to be sure of our feelings. Yeah. So I sent her money for a plane ticket. Mm. And you wouldn't believe it. It was a bloody scam. A scam? On the internet? Yeah. I got a notice from a service provider. Apparently I've been talking to some bloke from the Russian Mafia the whole time. Heartened to see they finally introduced a dress code here. And if I really thought I had a connection with this woman. Except it was a man. A Russian man. Well, connection's a connection, Jack. Well. Customary in the racing world to respect the dictates of the clock. Mm. Myself and Cam have been standing at your place for a good ten minutes. This is how the last bloke you had me chase wants to pay you. And by uh, default, me. We don't want a horse. That much I know. It's a mugs game. Oof, I know. Feed, adjustment, pets fees. People think they know what they're getting into. Coffee shops, hairdressing salons, nags, mugs games. We're in furious agreement. Hence the reason why I don't want a horse that's currently chewing grass down into Relgan. Look at the white markings on the offside fetlock. And the forehead. Back in the middle here Hi, Nick. Who's got this horse? Some bloke called Chink. 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 Yeah. Chink has this horse. You sure he said his name was Chink? Yeah, but I don't want a horse. It's a while since I've been down for Elgin Way. Tina, where are you? Pick up. I got your message with the number. I don't know what you want me to do with it. Call me, please. If you don't, I'm gonna go to the cops.
traffic always like this? No, sometimes it's busy. We thought you were coming next week. I said someone called Orton and all the details. Surely he got them. Uh, Orton... Orton doesn't read anything. It's 12 words. Orton doesn't really come in much. Is this apartment central? Yes. Close to shops? Ah, uh, yes. This is where you stand. You're joking? No. Is this some special Saints Day? Uh, no, it's church. Open 24 hours. Yeah, I'll take them. Oh, you can take this. Let's go small. I'll take them there. Okay. Uh, okay. This way. Right. See? Close to shops. Yes. When does this market close? Oh, Christmas. No, no, no. What time does it close? Christmas. You have many uh, cases. Oh, yeah, I'm here for a while. Are you sure? Yes. So how many floors up is this? Ah, uh, four. Okay. What about the lift? Ah, uh, lift is broken. Uh, it's a fire pass. Apparently it's broken. Yeah, we sitting there this one. Uh, we're here, we're here. Someone lives here. Uh, yeah, Sam. Yeah, he's in Vietnam this week. Uh, you're really lucky. Who or what is Sam? Sam, uh, Sam uh, lives. This is his place. Yes, I can see that. What am I doing in it? Um, it's, it's an okie-dokie place. Enjoy. See you, Miss Linda. All right. What number is Janine's apartment? Twelve. Okay. Is that me? She is my problem. All right. I'll wait here. I'm trusting you, Wayne.
frightening you to a local primary school. A primary school, for God's sake. And with a park nearby where kids play. This is clearly not in the best interests of our broader community. Surely we can find many other more appropriate places to visit him. Beauty! Hey! <laughs> hey, Chink! Christ's sakes, don't shake his hand. It'll crush you. What? Found him in a paddock with a rotten blanket on him. Knew right away he was a thoroughbred. A bit of wear on the legs. Yeah, well, a bit of decent tugging to work out, he'd be right. So why didn't you buy him off, Bruce? Yeah, well, I wanted to. Couldn't afford the upkeep, you know? But I tried everything. They even selling me own sperms. <laughs> no takers. Let's see it move. Oh, yeah, that's him, all right. No question. You care to fill me in on this universe of equine knowledge? Lost, Lost Legion. Legion. 16 starts, four wins, three places. And then he got a leg problem, he slowed up a bit, and he scratched a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. behavioural issues. Yeah, he broke the leg of a stable hand, he kicked the shit out of a float, and then he bit a steward, and they just gave up on him. Yeah, lost to the world. Forgotten. Here in a paddock. Seems OK now. He's a lot better than OK, trust me. Jack will take him. Bruce's debt squared. Will I now? That's great. Congratulations. Good <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a minute. Well, give us the papers, Chick. Uh, Jack here can run a legal eye over them. What happened to hairdressers and coffee shops? Shit. Cam and I'll come in with you. But for the sake of appearances, it's yours. Don't want our names bandied around. We'll never get odds at the track. The Lord could smile on us for saving the beast. Good day and all. Yeah, yeah, tops. Three hour drive, purchase a psychotic horse, and then get my hand crushed by Gippsland's least wanted sperm donor. Irish. So, sorry, who is it? Irish for Travis Dilfey. Please take a seat, Mr. Irish. Travis is just finishing with a client. Travis, Mr. Irish is here. Driscoll Holdings, how may I help you? Mm -hmm. Mr. Irish, Travis Dilfey. Good to meet you, sir. The man who brought some very big names in this town to justice. Ah, how'd you find me? Took a while. Through your former business partner, Drew Greer, is it? Ah. And what does your company do? You've seen those protective covers for mobile phones. All oh, right, you make those, do you? Nope. We uh, import the clips that attach to them. I'm trying to locate my younger brother. Uh -huh. I should just make it clear, Travis, I'm not a private detective. No? What are you, then? Well, I'm, I'm more a... Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm trained as a lawyer. I was a lawyer. But these days, uh, um, well, why don't you just tell me about your brother, eh? Uh, not much of a family resemblance. Oh, no, there wouldn't be. Wayne was adopted and came into my life when I was ten years old and it's been a giant pain in the butt ever since. A lot of anger, drug problems, had a spell in prison. But when he came out he seemed to, um, to change. He, he reconnected with the church. Met a girl, Janine. Had a job of sorts. And now? Disappeared. And he hasn't shown up at his work or collected his car. No phone call and he hasn't been to his apartment. Yeah, I don't think that maybe he's, you know, just gone fishing. I know something's wrong. You go to the police? He's still on parole. Hmm. Now, I understand that, uh, you only normally deal with major clients. Almost exclusively. How much do you charge? Oh, Three fifty uh, an hour. An hour. That's two thousand eight hundred a day. Wow, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> but fair enough. You get what you pay for. You probably want uh, a week up front as well. Now, if you leave your banking details with Annie at the front desk, then I'll make sure that you get it today. Great, great. So money's good in the mobile phone. 
clip thingy business then? Not particularly, but I made a vow to my parents that I'd take care of him. God knows he makes it hard. Please, any time, day or night. So could Lorna find out anything, mate? Mate, I sent you a text about anything you might have on a Wayne Dilphy. Uh, no, you sent me a text saying Wayne Dithering. No, but I corrected it. Yeah, to Wayne Filthy. I don't know. Ugh, bloody predictive text. Listen, I'm going to need to get into your court database. Is Lorna about? She stepped out. What are you trying to do, mate, apart from break my computer? When's she coming back? She stepped out two weeks ago. Oh. Hmm. Bit of a long lunch then. Well, according to his brother, Travis Wayne's done some prison time. I bought her this little brooch with a small ruby in it. I just need some names, mate. Somewhere to start. You know, like a character reference at his trial or something. It would be stylish if I still gave Lorna the brooch, wouldn't it? Do 24-year-olds wear brooches? 25. And yes, I think they do. She was an amazing type. I used to love to just watch her tap it away. <laughs> I'm sorry, just... I find sexy watching women's fingers. <laughs> it's erotic. No, oh, no, no, it's not what I want. Oh, mate, you did say this, didn't you, before I got it? Indeed, it is. Oh, that's the court. <laughs> Dilthy. Wayne Ellery. Five years for armed robbery, a year in remand for racial violence, attempted murder, charges dropped, and a two-year revival tour at White Hill for aggravated assault. <laughs> He's cute. Out for three years, found work as part of the White Hill Prison Outreach Program. Mm. The only person who spoke up for him was someone from the church. Mm. Well, you can always count on them to speak up for you. With both of us single again, maybe we should go on the prowl, you know? Hunters a pack. Yes, to all the secretarial colleges. Ooh, think of all those typing pools, mate. Jack Irish invites me out for lunch, and naturally, after all the favours I've done him, I figured I'd be going to Florentino's upstairs. But no, what do I get? Snits and tits. And soggy. Now, for people that work here, I've arrested at some point or another. Fucking shoe leather in crumbs. Now, listen, does the name Wayne Dilfie mean any of you? Vaguely. Dangerous? Oh, I for all, but no. Just a stormtrooper. First wave stuff, you know. Legs are running, but the brain's some distance behind. He works here. Good for Wayne. Oh, he's gone missing. Probably ate the schnitzel. His brother's worried about him. <laughs> it's like he knows something. He's not telling me that. Close your legs, love. I'm not a gynecologist. What do you want, Jack? Well, oh, maybe just track his license plate. Popeye! Not a bad bloke. Could have been a judge, but got off on the wrong foot. Barry! Mate. Long time. Yeah. How's the famous schnitz going down? Oh, yeah, gourmet stuff. Listen, help Jack here, will you? He'll fix up the bill. No charge, gentlemen? <laughs> no, 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 I insist. He wants to pay. Notice you got half of White Hills Prison working here. Guess they'd be used to prison food. Bye-bye. I'm, uh, I'm looking for this bloke. Yeah. Wayne came here as part of the outreach program. What program's that? White Hills, in conjunction with some churchy thing, giving blokes who've done time a fresh start. Ah, in a strip joint. Gentlemen's entertainment venue. We're very respectable. Wayne's working as one of our drivers, escorting the girls safely home. You're spoiling me, Judy. More sensual, Taylor. I want to see genuine chemistry. Jack here is looking for Wayne. Yeah, uh, his brother's worried about him. Oh, well, he turned up for work a couple of days ago and then well, some bloke picked him up in a, in a black four-wheel drive with tinted windows. And there's a, there's a woman he was seeing? That's Janine Balich. Girls talk. Still not feeling the love. You remember her? Yeah. JJ, nice kid, bit raw. <laughs> Judy showed her routine. As a mother in Coronet Bay, I think.
Hello? Shut the fuck up! You Mary Bellich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up. Come on, come in. The front room's almost warm. Taking all bloody day to warm it. Shit, me slipper. Fuck. So you're a lawyer? I was. Sort of. It's your daughter, Janine, I'm trying to track down, Mary. You and every other bloody sod on earth. Little heart starter. Yeah, she's not doing that sort of work anymore. What sort of work's that? She was a model. Has a mum's legs. Tough work, modelling, eh? She was doing a bit of escort and work on the side between modelling jobs. And when was the last time you spoke to her? Day after my birthday. Not telling her the year. <laughs> Ticked her off for forgetting, but she seemed real upset about something. It's actually her boyfriend that I'm trying to track down. Wayne? Mm. Oh, he's bloody stuck on her ears. Head over heels. Bought this beautiful diamond-studded cross. Real diamonds, not your diamondy shit. Wow, it must be worth a bundle. Yeah, it's got the fucking neighbours rethinking what they thought about us. Must have cost them a packet. That's one. Good chest, a bit like yours. Can I top his up? I oh, know, driving. Well, you're welcome to stay over if you want. Get an early start in the morning. I'll tie the dog up. Who's the other woman in the photo? Well, Tina or something. Up herself. From money. Can I borrow this photo just to make a copy? I'll pay you for it and bring it back. Settle down, sweetness. It's only a photo. Anything else you want is on the house. In my business, you charge for your time and you pay for other people's time. A bit like escorting. Do you know where they might um, go if they got themselves into trouble? Could be anywhere, but Wayne would need to be near St Kilda because he still needs his methadone. Linda, are you looking for Orton? Yeah, you want to try the rooftop? Okay. Uh, I take it you're Orton? You run, uh, I'm really grasping here for a better word, this establishment? Yes, I have that honour and duty. I was promised an apartment, a driver, an office and whatever resources I needed. Who promised you that? Selena Chase. Linda something. Helia, right? Yeah. Selena, a friend of yours? Yeah, she's my editor on two papers. The last story she published from here was 45 cops getting shot on Mindanao. That was two years ago. I need proper facilities. Federated Press would be your best bet. They've got a coffee machine. The real thing. They do sandwiches, drinks on Friday. Have you ever been a journalist? Well, a real one, no. No, no I more or less devote my life to managing office. Well, I'm a serious journalist. I've won awards. I'm here to do proper stories and I need proper facilities. Asia is in an epoch changing period of massive transition and I'm here to actually... Wow. Is that what Asia's like? Picked up quite a bit on your drive in from the airport. <laughs> you speak Filipino? No, but English is Mandarin, company. Thai, Laotian, Hindi, Urdu. I have a little Italian. Oh, you're sad then. <laughs> you sure Selena didn't send you here to get rid of you? This is how I secure this much sought after posting. Please. Okay. Let's start with the desk. 
Follow me. All here to cover this epoch-changing period of massive transition. I know the story I'm covering. A terrorist, Haji Adif, he grew up in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. mm. Adonis, you can now. Oh. Plunk yourself here. No shortage of stories. Getting the West to buy them will be a problem. Unless you're lucky enough for a Westerner to get killed while you're here. Trade way to death, they love that. <laughs> Best to use internet around lunchtime, doesn't crash as much. Right. Please tell me you aren't here because of a busted relationship. That's a deeply offensive remark you wouldn't say to a man. Pete, why are you here? What pissed off of me? The further you run, the more significant the relationship you're running from. Manila has to have been one hell of a serious one. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Please, can you just get me a proper flat? Uh -huh. How's the glamorous Asian lifestyle? Actually, I've been so busy, I've hardly seen my place. I bet it's fabulous though, right? Oh, yeah, it's a great view. How's your glittering career? Oh, you know, completely and utterly satisfied. I'm actually hard at it right now. Gotcha. Right, well, it didn't take as long to get to this stage of a distant relationship, did it? I suppose not. Call me if you can think of anything to say. I will try very hard. Travis Dilthey, Driscoll Holdings. Travis, it's Jack Irish. I reckon I've located your brother, mate. Ah, oh, good man, Jack. Where is he? At the Palms Motel on Glendon Street. In the ground floor room. They said you were good. Who's they? Uh, look, I I'm yeah. caught up with something right at the present. Now, could you give me 20 minutes? And I'll call you straight back. You call me back? You want to meet me out here or what? Uh, just, just let me check and I'll call you back. Check with whom? Close. The Palms Motel, ground floor. Wayne, my name's Jack Irish. Your, your brother Travis sent me. He's a bit worried about you. Yeah, just a tick. Hi, mate. Oh. Oh. All right, all right, you got family problems, all right. Travis died two years ago. What? I said my brother died two fucking years ago. Who oh. bloody sent you? Why? Oh. Why huh? don't hurt you? Someone, someone who said he was your brother, he makes um, clip things for mobile phones. He paid me to look for you. You're lying to me. I'm not, mate. Yeah, because I saw you tailing me in that bloody yank tank. But he's not armed. He wouldn't have come knocking if he knew anything. Listen to him, mate. We've both been set up, all right? I mean, who who would tail someone in a in a Studebaker? He might be able to help. Fuck. Get up. Shut your mouth and get in there. Okay. 
Hey, listen, you, you two really need to get out of here. He's not part of it, Wayne. He's wearing a cardigan. Yeah, I'm not, Wayne. I mean, I am wearing a cardigan, but I'm not... Shut up! <sighs> All right, go start the car. No, better take his car. You're not, you're not taking the Studebaker, are you? Come on, mate. Who's behind this, you know? I found you, didn't I? I know who's behind it. Well, do you wanna do you wanna fill me in? Don't worry. You'll meet him. Any dick from there. Why? I am genuinely filled with sadness. We are a brotherhood. Committed to a cause, and you know there's only one way to resign. Oh, shit. You can come out now, Janine. Clean this shit up. She's driven off. Shit. Who's he got in there then? That would be you! Jack Irish! Ah! He's got shit! Ah! 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 Shit! Ah! Go to the police. And tell them what? That you just happened to ring me from a phone box, which is by a motel with a dead body in it. Well, I didn't do it. Your DNA happens to be all over the room of the bloke that you've been stalking. Looking for. And then he ended up putting an extra centimetre of lead in his brain. But well, you're the lawyer. Did anyone see you? Well, no one's going to admit to being there. This place is like a resort for people wanting to wreck their marriages. Look, these guys knew my name. I've been set up. And now this chick's driving around in my hawk. You're also going to have to sort out a proper stable for your horse. Can't have it wandering around a bloody paddock all day. It's a thoroughbred. He's joking, isn't he? Life goes on. Not all about you, Jack. <sighs> so, where are we dropping you? The Tesla building in the city. Do you know if it's got chilly outside? Sorry, yeah, yeah, it's a bit cold. Oh, dear, you didn't bring a coat. Winter surprises me every year. Rough dumb. And did you report your car stolen? My phone was in the car. Exactly when did you notice that it was missing? Exactly when I went to get in it and noticed that it was missing. Who is she? 
misunderstanding. I ask the questions, you answer. So your pride and joy goes missing. You don't think to pop down to a local police station and report it. It's odd. Is it? Why'd you kill Wayne Dilthey? <sighs> misunderstanding. I didn't. Sir? Excuse me. We have an eyewitness who saw someone of your description leaving a building with a gun. That's bullshit. I've never met him. What reason would I have to kill Wayne Dilthey? I would have thought $25,000 deposited into your bank account this morning would have been quite a reason. Are you just making this up as you go along? I think he's answered enough questions for the moment. Ma'am, I need a brief word with my client in private. <clears throat> so. What's happening here? Clearly being done over by experts, mate. Mm -hmm. My car's been stolen, I've lost a client, and now they're trying to pin a murder on me. Apart from that, all good. All good. <laughs> so, <clears throat> any alibi of any kind? Yeah, you know, I'll set up for anything at this point. On this one, Trevier. Okay, you're free to go, Mr. Irish. I am. Your girlfriend came forward. Well, Linda's here. No, the uh, new model. Uh, the one that you were humping at the time of the murder. Ah, uh, yeah. She's waiting for you. Mm. We'll need your passport. I don't actually have one. Oh, well, that's good, because I don't think you're ever going to use one again. I need that paperwork on my desk first thing tomorrow morning, Trigier. You'll tell me what the fuck's going on sometime very soon, won't you? As soon as I know myself. Come on, babe. Let's get you home. Oh. Oh, poor thing. What a day you've had. Where's Tina? Who's Tina? My sister, Tina. I don't know where she is. I don't know what you're talking about. What? Really? Yeah, really. And uh, None of this is making any sense to me. I'm, I don't know who you are. Well, then you're useless to me. Really? Tina. you most fear? My husband when he's been drinking. I fear the world at the moment. When I saw my bedroom door open when my uncle was staying over. I mean, girls used to call me that at school and I keep thinking... I guess losing Joanne. And my wife. I don't watch the news. Now, all this violence, I... I sense something terrible is going to happen. Tina, I want you to share with us your greatest single fear. It's... You're safe here. You're among friends. Okay. My greatest fear um, it's a really stupid one. <laughs> These numbers here, uh, 76703, etc., etc. I mean, what do they mean? Are they, are they a bank account or phone number, a lock or something? I must have pressed them by accident. They mean nothing. Okay. Who's Pia Ockant? Dutch guy that I've seen. Dutch? Where is he now? I don't, I don't know. 
the left. He, um, that's why I texted Janine, thought that she might know. I would never betray them. Okay. I believe you. We just had to make sure. So go on, you can piss off. Just take your shit with you. Go on. Your bag's over there. Just let her go, okay? If you go down the track a couple of K, you'll come to the main road. You can hitch a ride from there. I just want to be someone who's good and brave. When I was a um, when I was a kid, this this really mad, vicious dog just came out of nowhere and um, he just jumped on me and they, they couldn't pull him off and. It almost killed me. So, yeah, dogs are my greatest fear. It's all in the past now. Hmm? You're safe here with us. 